good afternoon all of you my name is dr lal singh working as a senior scientist in csi niri nagpur india today friends today we will discuss uh, air pollution control through green belt developments uh, we will today's objectives for the presentation overview on the green belt potential tree plant for air pollution mitigations we will discuss on that and we will also discuss on the case study plantation around thermal power plants this is the case study which we did uh, in csnd in detail we will discuss so friends uh, green belt development means vegetation provide one of the natural way of cleaning the atmosphere by scavenging or trapping the substance particulate matter by absorbing metabolizing and detoxifying the accumulations of the gaseous pollutants this behavior of plant lead to emerge a concept of the green belt development and it's now being considered as a standard practice for the air quality improvements so friends why green belt management so important for the different areas in which we have the pollutants and other pollution problems green belt can be raised for the improvement of air quality in a wide variety of situation in urban and industrial context they are more commonly used for the following purposes combat huge emissions of air pollutant and to lessen the impact of the accidental of episomal release of the air pollutants and to protect the ecological sensitive areas archaeological monuments and residential areas and to improve the urban environment by developing roadside plantation of avenue trees shrubs hedges grasses along the traffic corridors so friends for this developing of the green belt we have five to six criteria one criteria is the selection of species which is very important for developing the green belt of any contaminated or any any polluted areas mm -hmm. first we have to go and survey of the site and adjoining area ecologically and socially important native plant species occurring in the natural area and species that can provide a sustainable productive vegetative cover species evergreen species we have to choose choose especially shrubs hedges grasses with simple leaves and rough and hairy surface are better dust collector than those of the deciduous tree species species with having more binding capacity and conservation value and species with high root and leaf tensile strength should be more especially in the sino covered and other areas species having root shoot ratio more than 1 so that species can exist in the in the in the pollutant and other loose soils areas few chemical attributes of the sites microbiological characteristic of the sites and plant species that can withstand the existing hydrological conditions of the terrains of the site so these are the simple parameters for selection of a species for a, the polluted or other contaminated areas so for the selection of a species the another parameters the what is the role of the soil soil play a very important role for developing the green belt it regulate the water physical stability and support and sustaining the plant and animal life and cycling is the nutrient which is the important parameters uh, and filtering and buffering potential pollutants is pollutants so this is the generally soil play very important role for doubling the green belt especially in the contaminated and polluted pollutant having areas so nowadays in the present need of the time generally we have to use the multi we are to, to use we are using the multi functionals mm -hmm. of the green belt this is the need of the time means abatement of the abatement of the air pollution conservation of natural resources and act as a and act as a carbon sink and enhance socio economic utility of the flora provide aesthetic and recreational value so this is the main objective means to carry out the plantation as per government norm for the pollution abatement so for developing of the green belt we we selection of the sites as well as the depend on the objectives and location of the project site really it is important it is the main purpose of the green belt development if we are selecting the species of for the industry we have to absorption and pollutant gases abatement of the dust pollution reductions of the noise pollution creating delineating boundary if we are 
selecting the species for the roadside plantation just you can see this is the beautification and absorption vehicle pollution sheltered to native faunal groups creating boundary for restricting animals if we are going to select the plantation on the wasteland so we have to select on the basis of the wasteland characteristic the species if we are going to collect the species for the urban landscaping so we have to select beautification recreational use green green gym increasing aesthetic value we green forest therapy creating oxygen pockets in, in the form of the garden and parks if we are going to under develop wild areas extensive wild habitat habitat improvement species and conservation plantation for social forestry and ntfp creating thick boundary as well as the as well as the around the protected area as well as agriculture land for protection of the agriculture surrounding lands generally we have to create the livelihood generation as well as the economically valuable valuable products so uh, so friends for creating the green belt we have lot of benefits means provisioning services production water food and fiber fuels need uh, supporting services nutrient cycling soil formation primary production habitat habitat uh, habitat provisions and regulating services climate regulation flood water purification cultural services spiritual aesthetic educational recreation so these are the benefit for green belt development for the ecosystem assessments so friends if we are developing the green belt we have to develop the design especially for mitigating the pollution in, in for the developing the green belt especially in the plain area we have to select this this type of the design in that design we have to collect at least four rows or depend on the depend on the site conditions as well as the availability of the area and if we are going alignment in the hilly areas we have to develop this types of the design if we are going to develop the equal square, square spacing especially in the hilly area and triangle area, spacing especially in the other area if we are developing green belt uh, design for uh, for the undulating topography so these types of some of the designs uh, and characteristics in on the basis of that design and fit characteristic we can uh, we can select the design different different areas so nowadays we are evaluate after developing the green belt we are evaluating some of the indexes like apti index air pollution tolerance index so on the basis of that index we have evaluated more than 20 species just you can see apti index on the basis of the api index most of the species of ecologically very sensitive to uh, to to the pollution so we have to take on the other parameters for evaluating the green belt and how much mitigate the pollution problems especially so air pollution means air is a mixture air is a mixture for various gases and vapors containing minute like dust when their concentration exceeds the tolerance limits of the organism they functions as a air pollutant in the atmosphere the major air pollutant in the atmosphere are the suspended matter like smog dust gases like sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide hydrocarbon as primary pollutant and ozone as a secondary pollutant so friends air pollutant and their source in the atmospheres especially if we talk about the pollutants smoke and dust carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide sulfur oxide ozone and ammonia these are the just you can see here these are the different types of the source like smoke and dust desert barren lands thermal power plants cement factory etc carbon dioxide carbon dioxides forest fire burning of setting cultivation cement factory deforestation combustion of the fossil fuel etc carbon burning of coal that have the different different the source and these some of the pollutant have the health effect health effect means carbon monoxide difficulty in breathing impaired lung functions affect central nervous systems and cardiac and pulmonary function as see severe throat and eye, eye irritations some of them are carcinogenic lungs brain heart respiratory infections adverse change in the cell structure of the of the lung uh, lung wall as well as the lung disease so these are the health effect 
of the pollutants and some of the some of the cases concentration for relative clean and polluted atmosphere just you can see this is the concentration microgram per meter cube these are the clean air just you can see different types of the pollutants and in this is the polluted air so this these are the concentration only basis that we can compare friends approximate gaseous composition of unpolluted tropospheric air on a wet basis so this these are the concentration the unpolluted tropospheric air on the wet basis just you can see these are the different uh, gases or these these are the concentrations here so for removing these types of the pollutant various gases <laughs> pollutant tolerant tree and shrub species on the basis of different types of r and d in different areas we have identified some of the species which can tol which can tolerate the pollutant and which can also mitigate the pollutant problem especially in the Air air pollution problems area as well as the other dust uh, dust dust and noise uh, noise polluted areas. So some of the species we have ranked according to pollution tolerance uh, tolerance category. Best plus plant we have identified on the basis of female value index basis, EPI value index basis. Uh, Mangifera indica we have given the seven x seven and uh, we mimicry challenge at Rokos and Tag for the ficus bangalensis and ficus and factor the best species on the basis of EPI value we have evaluated these are the species which can be used especially in uh, for the green belt development some documents facts relating to air pollution and vegetations. Over a distance of less than 200 meters, the vegetation is able to reduce the concentration of pollutant by 120 gram per meter kaki. So, people tree, you know, people tree, ficus religiosa in India, which crown is spread 162 square meter really, or it means 1.712 kilogram of oxygen every hour and absorb 2.252 kilogram of CO2 as, as per as per hourly so we can reduce by using the different selective species this is type of the pollutant some efficient dust collecting plants which we have evaluated on the basis of our r d study on the basis of the r d study just you can see as a indica have the best dust collection gram per meter on the leaf surface and bohemia purpurea btia monosperma cassia fistula at last termenia angina so these are the species the best dust collectors uh, the best dust collection gram per meter squares so green belt can effectively serve the purpose of reduction of air noise and dust pollution in urban ecosystem there is a great need to concentrate effort on developing green belt management on available land in urban ecosystem like surrounding the industrial areas road sites, median, railway tract, national highway, canals, urban areas, and other available waste lands. So friends, now we will discuss what type of the green belt we have developed, especially in the thermal power plants area. As we know, friends, in India, we have only 2.4% of the land area, means three, 329 million hectare land we have. If we, if we, see our land area if we see our country we have more than 21.03 percent of the forest in which we in which we have 68 million hectares of waste or degraded lands which have spread in different parts of country and it has categorized into different category and mining barren rock steep sloping slow covered and other forms of degradation of the land in india Friends, we are now we will discuss one of the case study which are related to the Maharashtra, India. Maharashtra is the uh, states of the India in which we have 30.77 million hectares of the land in which we have more than more than 3.7 million hectares are land are the highly degraded or degraded barren and uncultural waste lands. So, friends. In that area, we have more than 50,000, we have more than 50,000 hectares lands covered by the Flyas dump area as well as the related contaminated uh, through the Flyas area. If we plant Flyas dump area, the species, because it is not surviving due to dust problem and other contaminated, other heavy metals problems, just you can see the surroundings and other area, there is no due to the dust problem, 
there, there, there is no chlorophyll content on the leaves. Just you can see there are a lot of motility. If we talk about the, if we leave such area in a one, two or three year spreads, just you can see here only, only some of the species has come, some of the, uh, some of the invasive species, lantana camara and other grasses will come, but dust cannot be reduced by using or naturally coming these species. So friends, that fly as dump sites associated with environmental hazards. Just you can see if the if such type of the dust will be spread, it can create the silicosis, fibrosis, bronchitis, cause 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 of the cancer growth, etc., due to long-term exposure. So it can create the air pollution, dust problem, as well as the leaching of the heavy metals in the contaminated groundwater, as well as the soil pollution, as well as due to the that that. Uh, that uh, loss of the biodiversity as well as it will go through the water pollutions also so it can create a lot of problems so friends overall overall impact of the environment of the mining as well as the uh, that huge spoil dump create a lot of impact on the environment and as well as the surroundings area means noise pollution loss of biodiversity as well as the soil erosion degrading the nearby ecosystem and leaching of the heavy metal contaminated contaminated, contaminating the groundwater. So these, these create the problems on the environment. So CSI Navy has developed one technology, eco rejuvenation technology. This is the technology package for the biodiversity development of the degraded lands. In that technology, we have taken the six parameters, friend, site-specific plant species, site characteristic means physical, chemical, biological parameters, and species and site-specific bacteria, after that, site and species at a specific uh, VAM, vesicular, arvascular, mycorrhiza. After that, whatever the organic waste, waste material is available, or and we have prepared the design and process. After that, prepare, prepare the technology, eco reservation technology. It is a very highly cost effective technology. Only one time investment is required. Through this technology, friend, just you can see this is the thermal power dust. In the Koradi Khapar Khar uh, Khapar Khera uh, in Nagpur district in India, just you can see a lot of problem of dust area. Within 150 days, we have selected sapling. We have already described that selection of species is really important. And mycorrhiza, bacteria, and organic amendment. 150 days, we have converted into a, this area into a, this form. Or within two years, we have changed into a, this area into a, this form. I will discuss detail how we have converted and some of the farmers degraded land we have converted is a green fencing and we have totally controlled the soil erosion problem and other contaminations. So for direct benefit, sustainable social benefit with no further investment, only one time investment is required for developing, uh, for developing the green world through this technology and environmental benefit Control of the soil erosion, development of HEMAS, topsoil buildup, control of air pollution, wind breakers, CO2 sequestration, biodiversity conservation, and very high soil binding capacity. So selection of a species is very important and also depend on the industrial or waste or contaminated area. So we have selected especially for fly ash dump areas, bamboo species, because di bamboo directly cannot go into the food chain as per NGT guideline, we cannot select the fly ash dump area, the species which can directly go into the food chain or fruit bearing and other species we have now selected. We have selected bamboo species because bamboo after 40 or 50 years flowering and fruiting will come. During that time, all contamination will be consolidated or remediated uh, through the selected species. So we have selected, just you imagine, these type of the sites we have taken for, for our study, just you imagine within a short period of time, every parameters we have evaluated and we have started the work. When we have started the digging of the pit, 1.5 meter of the dig of pit, when we are pitting in the fly ash dump area, within five to 10 minutes, the half of the pit have filled. Slowly, slowly, we have started the work. At last, we dig the pits. And we have amended with according to our technology. Just, just you imagine within seven months, we have converted that 200 acre, that 200 acre area, we have converted into a, this form, that fly ash dump area. 
just you can imagine this is the present conditions it was the present condition just you can see here this is structure and this flyas dumps area totally converted into a this form of the greenery here you can also see friends this types of the area have converted into a this form of the greenery through this technology so this types of earlier before two years on that area this type of dust was there but after two years this dust have converted and this road you can see clearly without dust and this is the road structures you can see here friends so this is these types of the fly ash just you can see this is the fly ash and in that fly ash we have grown the bamboo selective bamboo species just you can see the below ground structure soil is soil has totally covered the entire area and it is a life filter bed media whatever the rain water and other water will come it will filter after that it will go inside the earth or ground water and nothing will go nothing will be contaminated so after two years we have evaluated all type of below ground biodiversity in that area just you can see all types of the faunal and microbial diversity it has increased after two years uh, after a years within a short period of time it has increased highly so if we talk about the pollution so so just you can see here outside the plantation area where we have not planted any species this is the dust dust content this is the pm 10 187 and we have reduced 187 to 104 so this is the permissible limit for any industry this is the pm 2.5 just if in case of the pm 10 if, if in case of the pm 2.5 uh, earlier it was 42 and now in one location it has come on 33 so dust dust problem also we have also reduced within two years of the time so such types of the fly ash particle dispersed in the atmosphere just you can see metal leaching in the ground water maybe also and fly ash from sides here you can see reduced air pollution phyto stabilization of the heavy metals increased carbon sequestration capacity so this types of the works we did on the fly ash dumps area and this types of the ecological interactions is running in that fly ash dumps area so initially after a period of time after 5 to 10 years all will be consolidated and slowly slowly ecological succession will be start and toxic successional species will be invaded from the neighboring ecosystem so this is the important parameters and uniqueness of the technology friends CO2 sequestration efficiency and carbon mitigations survival of plant 98 to 100% restoration of microbial activity within 12 months socioeconomic benefit to local community ecological sustainability and payback within 30 years and other areas also this is the development of the bamboo biofencing surrounding the farmers degraded land through eco regeneration technology this is the farmers degraded land we have converted this farmer degraded land in the of the surrounding area into a green fencing bio green fencing just you can see the present conditions farmer degraded lands so this is the mine spoil dump we have created this condition 1989 1995 2001 and 2007 2013 and this is the present conditions within 6 six, 6 six years we have converted into a, this mine spoil dump to this form so csn niri is doing a huge work for developing the biodiversity especially in the contaminated area as well as the mitigating the pollution problem especially uh, in the filias filias and dust problems area so this is the biodiversity the uh, national bird we have conserved the national bird as well as the state state bird in that filias in that Uh, in that mine spoil dump areas thank you all of you for giving this opportunity thank you